Today we are going to learn a very interesting and important concept called probability. So before we get started with exact mathematics, let's look at a cricket match. You ask me why a cricket match? I'll tell you at the end. We have a match between India versus Pakistan and the target for India is 294. And currently we are 194 for 4 in 40 overs. That's the score of India. And uh, in 10 overs I need to score 100 runs to make India win. So this is the situation. So what is your prediction now? In this case you might predict that there is a 50-50 chance that India will win or you will you might tell that mostly India will win or you will tell Pakistan also has a narrow chance because they have good bowlers and some people also might predict that there might be a tie as well. So this is what we are doing here by looking at this event which is India versus Pakistan cricket match here as part of this we are predicting it. So we know that uh, the result can be anything but we are trying to predict that. So to be precise what we are doing is we are trying to measure the uncertainty. The event's outcome is uncertain and we are trying to measure it. That is what exactly probability is. So that means we are doing or we are using probability in our day to day life. Only thing that we need to know is a better mathematical way to measure and calculate it so that we can take good decisions on top of it. Right? So this is that simple and that interesting. So let's jump in to the actual concept and how we will do it. Be attentive and I guarantee you that it is a simple thing and you can easily grasp it. Let's get started with it. Okay, let's take an example of tossing a coin. So if I toss a coin, I will get either head or I will get a tail. These are the only things which can happen. So tossing a coin is an event and head and tail are the outcomes. So this is just to make you familiar with the terminology. This is an event and every event has a outcome. So I have tossed these coins five times. One, two, three, four and five. And the way I got the outcomes are first time I got a head, second time I got a head, third time I got a tail, fourth time I got a head and fifth time I got a tail. This is the way I have got it. Now if I ask you what is the probability of getting a head? Then the formula goes like this. The probability of any event is equal to the number of favorable outcome divided by number of total outcome okay we'll understand it in detail don't worry we'll understand this formula in detail so number of favorable outcome favorable means what i want so my question is probability of getting a head so the probability of getting a head means for me the favorable outcome of this event is head so how many times I have get the head number of favorable outcome that means how many times I got the favorable outcome for me favorable outcome is head how many times I got one two and three times I got the head so number of favorable outcomes is 3 divided by number of total outcome. How many total outcome? 1, 2, 3, 4 and 5. So total outcome is 5. So probability of getting a head is 3 by 5 and probability of getting a tail is how much? number of favorable outcome so now the favorable outcome has changed for me because i want a tail now so how many times tail has come one and two two times so this is two divided by total number of outcomes anyway is five so two by five so now if i do a sixth trial that tossing the coin six time and i want you to bet that what it will be then you should bet on a head because 
based on this events we know that the probability of getting a head is higher and probability of getting a tail is lower so i should predict that it may be a head next time so probability is always about guiding you about the outcomes it cannot make sure that yes this will be the outcome but it will guide you about the outcome and which has more chances of occurrence this kind of things probability gives us so i think this is clear let's take another example to redo it and get some more detail into it this time the question is rolling a dice so i am trying to roll a dice so everybody is aware of a dice i know so dice has six sides this is one let's say this is two this is three and there are other three sides which are four five and six and the question is when i roll a dice what is the probability of getting an even number this is a question okay so first let's uh, write down our formula okay now let's focus on the problem i'm rolling a dice and asking you what is the probability of getting an even number first i'm rolling a dice what can happen if i roll a dice if i roll a dice i'll get either a 1 or a 2 or a 3 or a 4 or a 5 or a 6 i can never get a 7 right this is your clear or i'll never get a 0 also right because dice has only 1 2 3 4 5 6 i'll get one among them so these are the total outcomes right these are the total number of outcomes if i roll a dice that is an event what are the total number of outcomes these are the total number of outcomes 6 this is clear i hope then now let's go to the second part of the question that i am trying to calculate the probability of getting an even number so probability of getting an even number is equal to number of favorable outcomes for me favorable outcome is getting an even number how many times you tell me how many times here one even number can come so 2 is a even number 4 is a even number 6 is a an even number so how many times may favorable outcome can come three times may favorable outcome can come divided by total number of outcomes when i roll a dice what can happen 1 or a 2 or a 3 or a 4 or a 5 or a 6 so total number of outcomes is 6 so 3 divided by 6 or 1 by 2 so this is the probability of getting an even number so if i ask this question that what is the probability of getting more than so i am rolling a dice i am telling you what is the probability of getting more than 2 so my favorable outcome is more than 2 so if i say favorable outcome is more than 2 so that means what can happen my favorable outcomes i will i will not consider 1 and 2 these are not my favorable outcomes more than 2 means i can expect a 3 a 4 or a 5 or a 6 so these are my favorable outcomes how many are my favorable outcomes 1 2 Three, four. So I'll say number of favorable outcome is four divided by total number of outcomes. Total number of outcomes is six. So it is four by six or two divided by three is the probability of getting more than two when I roll a dice. I hope this is clear, understandable. Isn't it simple? It's really simple. You just need to practice it, and it is. It becomes a very natural way of finding the. probability if you have any questions feel free to post a question in the comment section i'll get back to you please do practice and get back to me with your doubts to remember that doubts are only things which makes you understand the concept in much better way so if you have a doubt that means you have practiced it and you got a point where you are not able to understand it and i'm sure i'll be able to clarify it and you will get through it so thank you and please post your questions